guys welcome back to my channel advanced technology banana in the previous session i did the password recovery for cisco router uh, 1900 series which is the lowest uh, router in the cisco router family and i show you how to do the password recovery and in today's session i'm going to do the password recovery with the bit advanced model which is asr and the cisco router model is asr 1002 and the series is asr 1000 Let's discuss something about uh, the Cisco ASR. Basically, the ASR series is a bit advanced model. And if you see for this uh, router, it have a three modular SPA modules for the expansion for the uplinks and uh, with the four ports as a gigabit uplinks as an uh, as an uh, uh, multi mode or single uh, single mode fiber connectivity. Uh, we commonly hear about the ASR or ISR. This is the common names which we hear in every day. What is the ASR and what is the ISR and what is the difference? ASR basically stands for aggregation service router. And the router in this series are used primarily for edge routing. And uh, they are ideal for the high bandwidth application such as audio, video, or the video conferencing system. The ASR uh, series router basically install on the ISP or the enterprise level network where you have requirement to connect with the uh, with the uh, with the application which took the high bandwidth and provide you connectivity up to the gigabit then uh, there is isr isr basically integrate integrated service router and the focus for the isr basically on the quality of service and uh, the isr normally place on the uh, on the medium or the small to medium size network or corporate or the ISP where the requirement is not uh, same as ASR for the high end throughput for the specific application which utilize the high bandwidth. So this is the introduction about the ASR and ISR. Now let's start uh, for the password recovery. The password recovery is quite simple for the ASR as well. If you do the, uh, the right step, it will not take more than five minutes to recover the password so let's start our lab i will share my screen and i will connect with the with the asr 1002 and do the uh, the steps for the password recovery so i will connect with my com5 port and uh, i will start my router as soon as start, I will press the control break key. And as soon as I press the control break key, I'll come directly to the Roman mode. Like there is no load for the IOS into the Cisco flash. So now I will put the command uh, config 0x2142. Config. 0x2142, I will press enter. And there's a message, you must restart or power cycle for the new config to take place. What happened exactly with this command, config 0x2142, in the next reload, it will bypass the configuration file to load into the NVRAM. So what will happen, the password, which is right now saved in the, uh, in the configuration file, it will not load to the NVRAM and I will not get any configuration in the next reboot. So what I will do now, reset, enter. Okay, simple. These two commands I have to do at this level. So let it uh, restart and then I will show you uh, what is uh, the next step for the password recovery.
so uh, guys finally my router is uh, boot now okay let it normalize and i will show you what is the effect of the command which i put config 0x2142 right now if you see here my router in the user mode i'll make enable and i will do show run okay and if you notice in the show run there is no configuration because the configuration file was bypassed because because of the command which i mentioned config 0x2142 and my configuration basically in the startup file which is not load because of the config 0x2142 i will do show startup and you will find here the whole commands okay the text commands are here the ips for the interfaces okay so these are the ips available okay so my configuration is in the startup here you have to be very careful because if you are doing the password recovery uh, in the circumstances where you lost the password or the password is uh, uh, blocked by someone you will not enter the command copy running startup if you put this command your whole configuration will be disappear because right now in the show running there is no configuration okay so you have to be very careful on this step so what you will do you will put the command copy startup to running so this way your all uh, running configuration uh, your startup configuration will come into the running configuration and then you will change the password which you have lost okay so right now if you see over here my name is changed which was in my startup configuration and uh, show ip interface brief okay my all configuration is here okay you will find my whole configuration here so what i will do now i will make the new password or i will check my current password show run section username okay my username is encrypted so i will remove this username and i will put the new password with the same command username admin privilege 15 secret admin simple okay i will check the console what is the password on the console line console zero login log to login login with default okay so i have done this one i just make uh, in the console login authentication default so one thing more now my password is recover show run section username and this is the new password which i mentioned as admin admin okay now i will do one thing i will save my configuration because now my configuration come from startup to the running and from running i change the password and i save configuration back so now i will change the configuration registered value back to the default so in the next reboot it will take the configuration file from the, to to the nvram and it will take my current password for this one i'll go to the configuration mode i will make config register 0x2102 simple okay this is only command and uh, my password recovery is finished now okay i will save once again
and I will do one more command. Show running. Show version. Once I do the show version, in the last you will see here that the configuration register is 0x2142, which is the current registered value, and uh, it will be 0x2102 at at next reload. Okay, so in the next reload, it will come back to the default value. So I'll make it reload, and my process for the password recovery is completed. So guys, finally we are successfully able to recover the password for the ASR one double zero two. Uh, you have seen the, that the process is quite uh, simple. There is no uh, any complex command to perform the password recovery, except you have to enter the correct uh, configuration registered value uh, to bypass the NVRAM and uh, and to reload it back to the normal. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and like this channel. And uh, we will see you soon with another subject uh, related to the password recovery very soon. Thanks. Take care. Bye-bye. Allah Hafiz.